Hi everyone, today I want to show you this USB fan. Now this cost me just 200 pesos. You've probably seen these all over the place. They're very generic and they're being sold by many different companies. But for 200 pesos, I thought, you know, I'm going to try it out. Now this is a very basic one. It just has the fan and a small LED light. Some of the other ones I've seen also have a USB port here so you can charge your phone with it. But honestly, I would rather just keep it as a fan. And for 200 pesos, I think it's a great deal. Now, if you don't know how these work, they have a battery inside, specifically an 18650 battery, which is a very common type of battery. This one says 2600 milliamp hour, but honestly, you really don't know unless you measure it and check for yourself because they will just print anything on that battery. Um, but I can tell you something actually, something very impressive. This one said that it would run on its highest setting for one and a half hours. I actually got more than two hours out of this on its highest setting. Now, granted, after about an hour and a half, I did notice that it started to slide down for that last 30 minutes but it did continue running so I have no doubt that I probably could get three and a half hours on the medium and four and a half on the low setting so I was very impressed how does it work well very simple you've got an off button on button press on that's the first setting press it again that's the second setting third time of course that's the highest setting press it one more time and the LED comes on now this isn't very bright but if you were in a pitch black room, you'd be able to see around at least. Now, one thing I can tell you is that out of all the USB fans I reviewed, this is the most powerful one so far. There is no doubt when you put this beside every other one, this is the most powerful and it charges by USB. Now, all they give you is the USB cable and the fan. You do not get a charger, so you have to use your own charger, but you know, everybody's got a USB charger nowadays or just plug it into a computer, so it's really not a big deal. Now, they recommend that you do not use the fan while it's being charged. Right now, I'm charging it from my power bank, but this could just as easily be a AC wall adapter. Now, you probably can't see on camera, but there's a small red light there that comes on when it's charging and if we turn it on you'll see that it does turn on even while being charged and here's the even better thing if you want you can take out the battery and it will still continue running just on the USB power. So that's great, because a lot of gadgets, as soon as you take the battery out, they just turn off and they won't run anymore. But this one has no problem running directly from a power bank or from a wall AC adapter. So if you want, you can just take the battery out. That also means you can have spare batteries because these batteries are pretty common. So let me make sure I get this the right way around. Here's the battery. The pink purple one is the one that came with it. And this is a different spare battery. Let's turn it on. Now this is something weird actually I've noticed when you remove the battery and put a new battery in or even the original battery at first it doesn't turn on. I think it's some kind of like calibration process to test the battery but eventually after a few seconds it will turn on. I hope. There you go. <laughs> so turned on and again no problem. So if you do have these batteries, or if you want to go out, you could buy extra batteries so that if a power cut comes, you have extra. But honestly, it's probably easier just to have a power bank. So since this thing can run from USB, that makes it very easy for us to measure how much power it's consuming, because I can run it through my USB watt meter, and we don't have to do anything with these batteries. So let's connect this up. So you can see right now it's drawing no current, because of course the fan is off and the battery is out. Let's turn it on. The first setting is around 1 watt, just under 1 watt. The second setting is around 1.3 watts. And the final and high setting is around 2.4 watts or 2.35. And if we put the little LED on, well, that doesn't really do much, but 2.4. So 2.4 watts. Now that actually surprises me because I did read on the back here that the maximum output power is 2.5 watts. but I'm surprised by that because I tested another USB fan which was two and a half watts and it didn't feel anywhere near as powerful as this. So yeah, um, I, I really do recommend it. It's only 200 pesos and it works really well. I got really good battery life out of it and it's just really convenient. Now one thing I'll say with all of these USB fans is just like a normal fan, if you're in a really hot room, there's no airflow, there's no window, if you blow yourself with this fan, it's really not gonna do much. You're not gonna feel very cool unless you were to you know, maybe drip some water on yourself. But if you use it where there's 
you know, fresh air, but there's no wind, then this will help cool you down. Or if you use it in an aircon room, for instance, if you use this in an airport, they have aircon, but sometimes it just doesn't feel cold enough. If you use this, you'll feel much colder. So, you know, there are limits to how much you can get out of one of these fans, but personally, I like them. This one's, a, you know, a little bit bigger, so not quite as easy to carry around as some other USB fans, but it is the most powerful I've used so far. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.